Mazatlan again because this is the Mazatlan Diaries and today I'm in El Centro and I am in front of El Recreo. This is a place where expats gather a lot and there's a lot of fun things to explore here. So come with me and we'll find out. guest. This is my friend Suwana. She's on the board of directors here for Mazatlan Film and Theater, which lives in El Recreo. And it is a very, very special organization. And so, here we go. This is, Great. we're so happy to have you here. I'm Suwana. so happy to have you here. Oh, thank you. I'm new here, but you've been here a little while. A while. That's <laughs> right. A while. Um, I actually came to Mazatlan in 2005. I returned after having been here as a child uh, with the idea of setting up our retirement spot. Uh -huh. And so that was accomplished, mm -hmm. and, but I was still working. So we enjoyed what we bought here on vacations mm -hmm. until 2011 when I retired and started spending a whole lot more time here. Right. Yeah. So that's sort of been my trajectory, the yes. time frame. And how long have you been involved with, or did you create Mazda Oh, no. Theater? no, 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 no. I think that's, that's an important little story. Oh, good. <laughs> this uh, Mazda Film and Theater started in the living room of a retired Canadian film critic. <laughs> who loved, loved to read plays out loud. Wow. So he invited his friends, you know, yeah. and they would gather in the living room and read plays. And they had such a good time doing it, they decided they should actually put on a play. So they rented a room, a, nothing much more than a classroom, at the local school for arts oh, okay. attached to the Angela Peralta Theater. Right. And they put on their first production, which was um, uh, Steel Magnolias. Wonderful. And that all happened before I got here. Okay. But I was watching on Facebook, and oh. that was pr probably early 2011. Okay. And I saw that there was such a thing as Mazatlan Film and Theater. And so Sign I could, me up. <laughs> I could hardly wait to get down here. And I started my involvement here selling cookies. Oh, nice. Or cooks. Right. We didn't even have popcorn in those days. Right. <laughs> and uh, an opportunity came to audition for a play. Yeah. And I had always harbored in my heart an opportunity to do theater. Right. Um, I was a theater arts major who got into education. Okay. So I never really got to do much after you know I grew up and was an adult and had an adult job. Right. So Happens. I was just uh, thrilled to be able to get connected to theater mm -hmm. somewhere, and here it was. Here it was. Coincidentally, oh. in twenty, maybe it was late 2011, uh, we got a message that this new group that had incorporated as a registered not-for-profit in Mazatlan yeah. was putting out a, a capital fund request. Oh. So lots of people contribute, contributed quite a bit of money mm -hmm. to converting this space into what we have. Ah. 
Ah. We got the space through connections with Mazatlecos, the local businessmen. Uh -huh. and, but when we walked in, there were three empty rooms. This room that we're sitting in, uh -huh. which is a theater now, right. uh, was empty. Uh -huh. So a crew of volunteers built the risers, bought these old seats from the movie house. They that look was, very authentic. You know, they're yeah. very authentic. They're, <laughs> they're antiques. I'm sure wow. that very valuable. <laughs> and uh, they installed the theater so that in the fall of 2012, we put on the first production here. Ah, uh, wow. So this has been here a long time. A long time. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Oh and uh, so I've been stuck here ever since. <laughs> Happily stuck. Well, people see you here all the time. Mm -hmm. you, you do a lot of work here. I, yes. Yes, my husband would agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, now tell me, so we've got... We've got something come up, coming up this weekend. Yes. A theater piece. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's happening this Okay, weekend. so um, we are doing a radio play version uh -huh. of It's a Wonderful Life. Wonderful. So it's an adaptation, of yes. course, of the film, but it was done to be presented in the style of a 1940s radio show right okay so Perfect we there. are doing yes it is yeah um because here in this space which is small yeah. and uh, we don't have wings we don't right. have backstage we do readers theater right. style right uh, theater. that's fun though oh, i've right. done a lot of that i well, love it yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah I know yeah. <laughs> it is fun yeah and you know when you try to explain to people who've never seen it you know you say readers theater and they go oh Mm. <laughs> have someone read to me for no I don't think so I can do that myself yeah, yeah okay. uh, and yet when people come and see it and right. and feel the energy and the dynamics and, yeah yeah they and really it's their like friends it. uh, their community well, is absolutely. here absolutely yeah yeah so. and do you do sound effects too a little bit we are going to be attempting that Tech, yeah no <laughs> kidding um <laughs> Our facilities are minimal here in right. terms we do not have a soundboard. All right. Okay. We don't we don't even have good spots. These <laughs> well, are I see some lights. Oh, yeah, they're there, <laughs> they're but they're there. not real manipulated. Well, yeah, they're not sliding around. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh it is, you know, it shines light on us and <laughs> we can go forward. Right, right. Um, That's fine, so though. this one, but this one's a little different than we've ever done before because it has the largest cast. Oh, wow. we have fourteen people sitting up here. Oh wow! In a That's yeah, great. which is fourteen. Okay, 14, two rows. Oh, anyway, okay. That's gonna be great, and so, that's. Uh, this coming Saturday and Monday? Uh, Saturday and Monday. That's right. February 3rd and February 5th. Okay. So, Good. Um, yeah, it's very exciting because we've owned, we used to do three, sometimes four productions in a season. Yeah. But since COVID, we lost because people moved away, sure. some of the directors and whatever. They're just not here. They're uh, not here. So now so we're they're ramping back up. We're trying to. Trying yeah. to. Mm -hmm. Now there's all kinds of things going on. Besides this theater production, right. we've got weekly movies. What, three times a week? Three times a week. Um, so we schedule movies Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday uh -huh. at 3 o'clock. Right. And uh, it costs 50 pesos to come to a film here. Uh, and we try to schedule a variety of films. We, this season, we've been focusing on nostalgic films. Okay. Uh, we put a, th a request out on Facebook. You know, mm -hmm. what movie would you like to see right. at Mazatlan Film and Theater? And we got a lot of suggestions. Oh, that's great. So, yes. So, so everyone's kind of involved in... We're in, hoping. In, hopefully. Yeah, and uh, I know there's popcorn here too. You there serve a little popcorn. Is, and it's very exciting. A brand new popcorn machine that <laughs> makes really delicious popcorn. It tastes different. It's a new machine. Oh, so. that's great! Wow. Um, and then besides, let's see, we've got the movies and 
No. You and I are involved in something new here. Yes, and I think we should talk about I that. I think we and should. We'll talk a little bit about music. Absolutely, music. there's music involved. Right. But yes. we're, I am personally so excited about our new film club. Yes. And Yee. we're doing this together. That's right. And <laughs> with the partner, um, Don. Don. And, and Felix, my and husband Felix, too, yeah, by the camera right us, now. That's right. <laughs> the four of us. And um, what we're going to try to do here is schedule a whole series of independent films, mm -hmm. films that aren't usually playing in... Not in the big movies. box office no, stuff. No. Stuff that makes you think. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, think, exactly. So um, the film club is open to anyone. Yes. And you don't have to come every single time yep. if you're not interested in the film. But we're hoping that we'll have people who are willing to talk about the movies. Right. We'll do uh, a little introduction, some background about the film, mm -hmm. and then a little Q&A afterwards because we're trying to put uh, films um, mm -hmm. in the series that are very thought-provoking okay. and that have interesting kind of cultural significance exactly um so it's been fun to put right. the list together right and and significance in the development of uh film film exactly yeah. exactly yeah. so that's starting uh, very soon very soon our first film will uh, be on february 18th mm -hmm. right yeah. after carnival finishes up that's right <laughs> we have to kind of wait till that right. settles down <laughs> and uh, we'll schedule a film every sunday afternoon through right. March, at least, and we right. may go a little longer than the end of March, but um, it's a it's a new thing. So yeah, we're, we're excited. Looking, we are excited about it. Uh, yeah. Now let's see. Oh, now is, are there going to be more theater productions? Back to that for a yeah. second. I thought, yeah, oh, I wonder if uh, we're not quite sure yet. Not sure. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, okay. not quite sure. We're still working we're trying on to it. work on that. How po maybe it depends on how popular this one is. No, no, it depends on who's willing and wanting to direct, direct. a play. Ah, okay. And if we have someone step forward to yeah. do that, yeah. then we can quickly do auditions, which are very informal auditions. They're right. not oh, come prepared with a script. No, no, no. Just yeah. come, talk to us, stand up here in front of some people right. and show us the quality of your voice and you know, your, who you are. Right. Um, so nice. we could do that. Yeah. But um, I'm not sure that we'll pull it off this season, ah, okay. but we already have things rolling for next season. So oh, that's I'm exciting. very excited about that. that. This is a first for us to be planning this far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, the there are other things besides film mm -hmm. and television. It's sort of misleading because there's this whole music thing happening here. Huge music. Huge. <laughs> Tell us about it. Right. Well, we're sitting in the theater of the a building that was built in 1865. So we have thick walls, yeah. concrete. Yeah high ceilings, we yeah. have very famous uh, beams called vigas going across, and so our acoustics here are ideal. Ah. And we have had professional musicians, semi-professional and amateur musicians play mm -hmm. here who say this is their favorite venue ah. because of the sound they hear oh, that's great. coming back at them. Love it. So we're very... Um, cognizant of that and want to give local musicians particularly an opportunity to play. Right. So we have, um, you know, concerts we've had, we've already had a local tenor come yeah. and present right. a beautiful program. We had a, a local man and his wife uh, do a beautiful program uh, he plays the electric violin, Yashua Cordova, and his wife Priscilla. She has a voice that is divine and came to Mazatlan to study voice because we have at the Angela Peralta, I mean, Mazatlan has one of the most renowned voice schools in Mexico. Oh, wow. So people come from all over to right. study here. Amazing. So, and we have a blues concert coming. We're going to have a rock and roll fiesta right. soon, and uh, then another rock and roll kind of thing. 
So we've got music going on. Here oh, and then time. Wednesday nights. Yes, also. also. There's a jazz an jam. An instrumental right? jazz jam, right. and it's open to intermediate or above musicians who yeah. can just sit in. Yeah. And it's a free event. Uh, people come, they stay for a few minutes or okay. two hours, yeah. you know, and it's very casual, but it gives uh, the opportunity to musicians to play together, and it's it's very gratifying. It, yeah, it's amazing all that goes on here every week. And just last weekend, you had a whole pottery class going on. We did. Right, that so, was another thing. <laughs> so we've had, a, a, once upon a time, we had a mosaic workshop, we've had this pottery, I'm being asked to schedule a jewelry workshop. I think there's a market for that, yeah. for, you know, stuff to make and do. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. we have the space. That's the beautiful part. Right, right. That's the beautiful thing. Oh, about. that's great. It's, I'm just so impressed by this place. There's just kind of every art form is represented here. You also ha are part of the art walk. We are. It happens on Fridays. We are. We're stop number nine on the, on the map. Yeah. And again, we try to invite local artists mm -hmm. uh, to, to participate and we have local artists and we have some expat artists right. as well. Right. And um, we have uh, jewelry makers, we have people who do more arts and crafts, and then we have painters, photographers. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. well I, I'm so glad we got to sit down and talk about this because I, I'm learning more and I thought I kind of knew what was going on but it's volumes of information here so I'm going to include as much as I can in the description so that everyone can get involved because if you're an expat in Mazatlan you ought to come down here and check right. it out and so. I will just say we are in the historic center of town yes. mm -hmm. on Constitution Street number yeah. 209 we're we're working on a big sign uh, out, out in front, but okay. um, there it's very are, easy to find, though. Yes, I think so. But there are architectural uh, guidelines oh. for historic buildings, so we're kind of working through that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what the sign looks like. And yeah, all that. Okay. exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's great. Well. Thank you so no, much, Simona. Thank Suwana. you for the opportunity oh, to talk great. about this. Oh, it's great. One last thing I should mention, the library. Oh, yes. We have a library here, too. That's right. For expats. That we is. do. Yeah. And it's it's based on donations of books. And it's a bring one, take one, informal. Yeah. There's no signing out. There's right. nothing like that. But it's very much used here yeah. in Central. It's the only English-speaking uh, resource for books. Yeah. in central now right so wow. that's so important. it's, it's kind of cool yeah. yeah i have some books i want to bring over soon Good. so okay <laughs> so i can get yeah, something new to read yeah that's well, wonderful and you. oh and the hours uh, you are open for ticket sales and things like that from one o'clock till three o'clock okay. on tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays right we can also sell tickets if we're here for an event right right so that's a little more flexible okay yeah, and, but we do want people to come in and buy tickets ahead of time. Okay. Um, we used to try to take reservations, but it, it didn't work out very well right. for customers and for us. So <laughs> we rather have in uh, person, in bring person, your pesos, ana analog, <laughs> pay your money, get your ticket. That's right. It works better here. In general, I think it works better I think so. in Mazatlan that yeah, way. It does. It does. Oh, well. Thank you so no, much. Thank I you, appreciate it. We really appreciate your uh, interest in our our enterprise of here course. and uh, helping to spread the word. I, I'm happy to do it. Yay! So everybody come visit Mazatlan Film and Theater in El Centro at the El Recreo. That's right. All right. Thank you.